Thank you for joining us for five questions about vulnerability management with Tim Erland, Principal Product Manager at InCircle. Thanks for joining us, Tim. No problem, Jeff. Vulnerability management is a fairly mature security discipline. What challenges do companies still face when implementing a vulnerability management solution? Well, you know, the maturity in the vulnerability management space has been primarily about technology. The challenges that customers are left with, really, are the same challenges they had before that were just hidden by the fact that they didn't have technology that, that could keep up with them. So they're still stuck with um, trying to prioritize the remedi remediation efforts that they're making, uh, trying to assign asset value uh, comprehensively across their environment so that they can you know, better see which assets are, are of uh, the most value to the business and, and base remediation and prioritization off of that. Uh, and finally, the, the biggest challenge that, that I think we see with our customers is the ability to tie the vulnerability management process or, or the risk assessment process to the business processes that are important to them. You know, uh, vulnerabilities on an, uh, an asset or an IP address are, are one thing, but understanding how that has the, what, what potential that has to affect your business is an entirely different challenge. Great, thanks. Uh, what's the most important thing or things that the IT security team should do to ensure proper mediation? Well, uh, the most important thing there is really communication. Uh, you know, IT security has a, a particular view of the world. It's security-centric. It's vulnerability-centric. Um, it's about risk. And IT operations has a different view of the world. Their, their view is primarily about things like uptime and service availability and ensuring that, that the um, systems and assets that they're responsible for are available to their, their customers. And uh, security, the best way that they can communicate with um, IT operations around remediation is to talk in the language that IT operations understands, to talk about service and availability and uptime and how the risks that they're talking about, that security is talking about, can negatively affect the things that IT operations cares about. Now, there's been increasing discussion in the press lately about advanced persistent threats. Can you talk a little bit about what they are and how InCircle can help defend against these targeted attacks? Sure. So um, APT, first of all, is not one type of vulnerability or one type of attack. It, it's really a, a strategy that attackers are starting to employ. Um, it's much more targeted. Um, it's designed to uh, achieve specific goals against, often against a specific organization or against a, a government agency or government entity. So when you talk about mitigating or combating um, APT, you're really talking about employing a, a, a counter strategy, if you will. Uh, and the best way to do that is with a comprehensive approach to risk mitigation and um, really to policy compliance. Um, and and Circle can help with, with both of those sides of, of, of the approach there, the strategy. Um, you know, ensuring that you have a, a, a small target surface, as small as possible, um, while still running your business or, you know, enabling your business to run is, is the first step. So IP360 vulnerability management uh, is designed specifically for that. Uh, ensuring that your environment has um, a, a known configuration so that you can manage to uh, configuration and meet policy compliance goals helps reduce the target, uh, target uh, profile, the target environment as well. Um, and looking out for, for unauthorized or uh, unintended changes is something that, that um, configuration compliance manager can help with. And that helps you detect when changes are occurring that put your environment at risk. Now, can you talk a little bit about how penetration testing differs from vulnerability management? Absolutely. So penetration testing, first of all, is, is designed to, uh, it's a process designed to exploit vulnerabilities in your environment. So a penetration tester is, if you want to use a, a physical analogy, is actually coming up and breaking the window or picking the lock uh, and actually executing the exploit. Uh, vulnerability assessment, vulnerability management is really more of a process of, of auditing the environment for risks. So rather than actually breaking the window, you know, a vulnerability scan or a uh, vulnerability assessment will validate that there's a window there, that it's made of glass, and that it could be broken. And it will do so without actually breaking the glass. Uh, and that's a key difference, is that you're, you're not actually exploiting the vulnerabilities in the environment in most cases. So the end result with vulnerability assessment is, is a more comprehensive approach to detecting risks, vulnerabilities across the environment without exploiting them. Now, it may be that a proper an appropriate follow-up to a vulnerability management program is a set of uh, you know, targeted penetration testing efforts. Uh, and that's, that's absolutely appropriate. They're complementary. InCircle was just rated as having the best current available solution in the Forest Vulnerability Management Wave. 
What are some of the unique capabilities provided with InCircle Solution? So Jeff, I, I think, first of all, we're really proud of that rating. I mean, you know, having the best current available solution is something that, that's important to us. It, it lets us know uh, and validates via a third party that we're providing the market with the most capable solution available today. Uh, the things that, that I think really make a difference for us in terms of, of um, you know, what we can deliver to customers, uh, we've got a few different features. Um, in the Suite 360 Intelligence Hub, we provide really unparalleled reporting uh, and analytics. The executive dashboards that we added recently are really um, something I'm proud of. You know, it provides a, a type of, of trending that is really tailored for information security executives that, that they can't get out of other products. Um, it provides a view into their environment and how they're progressing over time that they can't get from, from other products as well. And that executive dashboard is actually fed by our automated, uh, automated grouping and our, our risk score. Uh, the automated grouping allows the administrators or, or the, the, the producers of, of, of this data to really organize the result set into uh, sets of groups that are relevant to the organization to address the results to different audiences. So really, I, I think we're the first product, the only product that's, that's, that's built to allow you to communicate more effectively with other parts of the organization that, that may be interested or may, may care about risk in the environment. Uh, and the N-Circle risk score is something that's been around for a long time. It remains uh, largely unique, our ability to uh, measure and, uh, and evaluate risk and allow you to prioritize the, the risk in your environment is something that you can't, can't really get out of other products as well. Uh, and, and finally, uh, you know, the, the focus feature in IP360, I think, uh, remains a unique uh, data navigation and analytical tool for uh, the technical folks on the ground who need answers quickly and they need the detail at their fingertips in, a, in a, an easy-to-use search interface uh, that, um, that provides a lot of value at a, on a tactical basis. Great. Thanks very much, Jim. No problem, Jeff.